Have you reached a point of frustration with a locomotive that won't stop derailing? If so, you're in the right place. My name is Brian and this is the Iron Horse Model Railroad. My buddies and I, we got together and we put together a list of the top 10 reasons your loco could be derailing and how you can fix them. So stick around, we're going to get you up and running in just a minute. Welcome to the Iron Horse Route, home of the Denver and Rio Grande Western. This is Brian. I'm glad you're here. And if you're not already a subscriber, I want to encourage you to subscribe because when you're a subscriber here, you get access to a lot of great model railroad video uploads. And so now that you're subscribed, we invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video upload, which is coming up right now. Welcome to the channel. My name is Brian and this is the Iron Horse Model Railroad. And if you've reached a point of frustration with your locomotive because it keeps derailing, not to worry. As I said, my buddies and I got together and we put together a list of the top 10 reasons that your locomotive could be derailing and how you're going to be able to fix it. So, and I know there's nothing more that you'd like to do than to get this train up and running because that's a great feeling when it's been derailing. So let's get straight to the work. I'm going to change the camera angle on you and we're going to go over the list and their solution solutions in order. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull you in track side and I'm going to show you some examples of the train derail and see I've set the track up where the train will derail. I am joking. I did not mess with my track. I am sorry your train is derailing if you're watching this for those purposes, but I don't want my train to derail. So we're going to talk about the train derail and I'm not messing with my track and making my train derail. That gave me a headache just thinking about it. All right, everybody, so let's get to the list. All right, number one, there are several things that can happen, as I said, and uh, there are 10 of them. One thing I need for you to make sure is that you don't have anything on the body that is your truck when it turns. When that truck turns, that it's not hitting anything on that body. And if your radius is a little bit too tight, all right, the truck will turn and hit the ladder and it'll cause a derailment. And so in a turn, when the truck hits something on the body, you're going to pull a flange over and get a derailment. All right, number two. Another reason you could be getting a derailment is your wheels are not fully snapped into the axle. You need to check all four axles and make sure that the wheels are snapped in snugly and not loose. Okay, check that. That's number two. Make sure your wheels are tight in the axles. Number three, if your loco is derailing in the same place every time, you definitely want to make sure that you don't have any debris or dirt on the track in that area. Number four, again, if your loco is derailing in the same place every time, you've checked and it's not dirty, all right, it doesn't have anything stuck to the rails or anything. You need to get you a track gauge, everybody, okay? And you need to check the width of your track in that area. You can use this NMRA track gauge to check the width and make sure that the width of your rails are fine and ready to go. Number five. If your loco is derailing in the same curve every time, you've checked and it's not dirty, you've checked the width, then you want to check and make sure that that radius on that turn is not too tight. If you do think it could be too tight and you're able to, you might want to loosen it up and increase that radius a little bit. Number six, your locomotive's derailing and you've checked, it's clean. The width is right. The radius is okay. I want you to get out your mini level and check and make sure that the track is level, okay? If the track's not level, it could be causing derailments. Make sure that your track in the area that the loco is derailing is level. All right, number seven. All right, you, your locomotive's derailing in the same place. You've checked, the track is clean. The width is okay, the radius isn't too tight. You've also checked and it's level, which I want, what I need you to do now is check to make sure that that locomotive is going around the curves without hitting anything. All right, now that we're at step eight, we've gone through the following things if we made it this far, okay? You've already checked that your truck's clearances are good and they're not hitting any part of the body. You've checked that the wheels are snapped into the axles good and solid. You've also checked to make sure that there's no debris on the track. You checked to make sure that the track width is correct. You've checked to make sure that the track radius is correct. You've also checked to make sure that the locomotive's got good clearance everywhere and it's not hit anything that way. The next thing you're gonna have to look at if we've already checked all those things are the couplers. 
you want to make sure that your couplers are okay that they are you're going to use your nmra gauge again you're going to make sure that your couplers are the right height you're going to make sure that they're in good condition they're also matching up with whatever that they're uh, supposed to connect to those are the right heights as well all right, that's a less common problem, but it could be the couplers. You do want to check that. Check and make sure that your couplers are free, okay? That they're not um, binded up in here. You should be able to touch these and they move a little bit, okay? You get a little flex and a wobble, okay? Because they've got a spring in there, all right? You want to make sure that these are moving freely and good on both sides. Number nine, now it's time to go around the entire layout with the locomotive and watch it go through the turnouts. What you need to make sure is that if you're not catching a point or a frog or something like that, popping a flange over, and then later you're having the derailment. All right, so what you need to do if you get to step nine, all right, is it's time to move away from the place that the, the loco is derailing all the time, and it's time to run around the layout. Watch the loco go through the turnouts on the main line, and make sure that you're not losing any flanges when you go through any of the turnouts because what can happen if you pull a flange over on one of the turnouts three turns later you could be derailing each time so check your turnouts make sure you're not catching a point you're not catching a frog and you're not pulling a flange all right and last but not least everybody what i'm hoping is if you're still having the problem if you're still having the problem that you're actually pulling a load of cars all right, and if this is happening when you're pulling a load of cars, you didn't have the locos on solo, all right, what I want you to do is go ahead and take the cars off the track right now. I want you to run the loco solo and then go through the other nine steps again. I wish you the best of luck. I know how it feels to have locos derail and them not running for you. It's a very disheartening thing. I hope that I've done something to help you today. My name is Brian. This is the Iron Horse Model Railroad. We were glad to have you watching with us today. Thank you very much for your time. If you have not already, please subscribe, click the bell icon, and share this with your other modeling friends. Thank you very much, everybody.